Roman Reigns vs. The Rock vs. Cody Rhodes Spoiler, Dominic Mysterio's disrespectful message to WWE legend, Kane the next Vice President of the USA, Triple H turns former US Champion Babyface, Bailey sends a message on behalf of Damage Control, a megastar returns to WWE, CM Punk interested in joining SmackDown Faction, CM Punk takes Seth Rollins' title, let's dive right into it. Dominic Mysterio's Disrespectful Message to WWE Legend Dominic Mysterio hasn't taken it kindly to a WWE legend who recently fired brutal shots at him ahead of their match on next week's episode of Raw. A few hours back, The Miz shared a post on Twitter, taking a hilarious dig at the Judgment Day member. Dominic is all set to take on the A-list on the upcoming edition of Raw. Head of the show, the former WWE Champion, shared the match's graphic and asked R-Truth if he was wrestling Tom or Nick. For those unaware, R-Truth, who's been trying to become a member of Judgment Day of late, recently referred to Dominic as Tom and Nick, which became a running joke. It's also worth noting that the former NXT North American Champion's real-life name happens to be Nick Mysterio. Now, Dominic Mysterio has responded to the Miz dig at him by sharing a screenshot of an infamous Shawn Michaels gif. On his recent appearance on WWE's The Bump, Randy Orton went out of his way to lavish massive praise on Dominic Mysterio. The Viper predicted that the Judgment Day member had a very bright future ahead of him. He also mentioned that since he had worked with Dominic in the past, he was aware of his potential. That kid, Dominic Mysterio, has got a hell of a future in store. We haven't even seen anything from him yet, and he has already done so much. The reaction he gets from the people. I have been able to work with him on some live events recently, and the kid's good. He is good. So yeah, he has got future by the ball. Let's say, said Randy Orton. Dominic's transition from a baby face to one of the most hated heels on the roster has been a treat to watch, and it's safe to say he will only get better with every passing day. Do you think Dominic Mysterio would have it easy against The Miz on the next upcoming episode of Raw? Kane, the next Vice President of the USA. A WWE Hall of Famer could potentially be on his way to become the Vice President of the United States of America, according to legendary wrestling journalist Bill Apter. With the 2024 United States presidential election season in full swing, politician Donald Trump recently took it upon himself to speak highly of Glenn Jacobs, also known as Kane. For those unaware, Jacobs is currently serving as the Republican mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. Trump also mentioned The Undertaker, heaping praise on the talent of the Brothers of Destruction. While speaking on the latest episode of Sports Kita Wrestling's The Wrestling Time Machine podcast hosted by Mac Davis, legendary wrestling journalist Bill Apter stated his belief that Donald Trump's appreciation could be an indication that Glenn Jacobs, also known as Kane, was heading up the political ladder. When Donald Trump came on and he acknowledged Glenn Jacobs as Kane, what if he made him? What if Glenn Jacobs became the perfect Kane to date for Vice President? Kane to date, Bill Apter said. It should be noted that Donald Trump is also a WWE Hall of Famer, which may make him more understanding of how hard pro wrestlers work in their careers. It's quite clear that both Glenn Jacobs, also known as Kane, and Donald Trump share a lot of similar values, leading to mutual respect between them. A few months ago, the Big Red Machine had taken to social media to publicly show his support for Trump as the latter attempted to gain traction for his re-election as the President of the United States of America. If we stay on the current path, America will continue to decline and ultimately be relegated to the dustbin of history. The only candidate for president who can reverse that trajectory is Donald Trump. My op with at Katie Cody TN, Glenn Jacobs shared, As of now, it remains to be seen whether Bill Apter's prediction about the WWE legend's future will turn out to be true. Do you think Glenn Jacobs can become the vice president of the United States of America in the future? Triple H turns former US champion babyface. Triple H has been delivering remarkable shows since becoming the chief content officer of WWE. The game is currently preparing for the Stanford-based company's next marquee event, Royal Rumble 2024. However, amid this, it seems like he is seemingly planning for the babyface turn of Austin Theory for the very first time. This potential belief stems from the most recent episode of WWE SmackDown, where visible conflicts were noticed between Grayson Waller and Theory during a backstage segment. For those who are unaware, the Stanford-based company has announced a rematch between the former United States champion and Carmelo Hayes for the next episode of The Blue Brand. This resulted from a backstage segment where Melo was involved in a confrontation with Waller and Theory. However, when the MXD superstar laid down a challenge in front of Austin Theory for a rematch, the latter rejected the same by stating that he would be busy next week. Moreover, things got heated when Grayson Waller accepted the challenge on Theory's behalf, which got the 26-year-old star really disappointed. This led to many fans believing that it is a potential indication of the first-time babyface turn of Austin Theory. It will be interesting to witness how things will unfold in the upcoming months and whether Triple H turns the former United States champion into a heroic character. After the Royal Rumble 2024, WWE will head toward its upcoming international premium live event, Elimination Chamber 2024. Adding excitement to this event, Triple H 
Stage has recently unveiled the official poster of the Elimination Chamber 2024 Premium Live event featuring Rhea Ripley as the exclusive star in the poster. The most unforgiving, chaotic, and brutal structure in a WWE heads down under for the first time ever. Hashtag WWE Chamber. Perth emanates live from an Opta Stadium on February 24 at Peacock at WWE Network, AAA shared. The probable reason behind featuring Rhea Ripley on the official poster of the Elimination Chamber 2024 is that the premium live event is scheduled in Maumee's native country of Australia. Additionally, Triple H might also book Rhea to headline this massive event. Besides this, CM Punk has also been announced to be part of this year's Elimination Chamber. Many fans even believe that the best in the world might clash against Drew McIntyre in this event, considering their heated segments from the recent episodes of Monday Night Raw. Overall, it seems like the Elimination Chamber 2024 is already shaping up to be a significant event for WWE. It will be interesting to witness how Triple H will book the card for this PLE. Are you excited about the Elimination Chamber 2024? Bailey sends a message on behalf of Damage Control. Following this week's episode of WWE SmackDown, Bailey took to social media to send a message on behalf of Damage Control. In recent weeks, there has been a lot of tension within Damage Control. However, on this week's SmackDown, the heel faction was at ringside during the Women's Tag Team Championship match between the Unholy Union, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, and Katana Chance and Caden Carter. On Instagram, Bailey sent a short message and shared a backstage photo with her stablemates. They said, We won't. I bet we will. Hashtag damage control, wrote Bailey in the post caption. Bailey and Sasha Banks were once tag team partners in WWE. They also won the Women's Tag Team Championship on two separate occasions. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, the role model claimed that she and Banks will always be destined for one more match. We'll always be destined for one more match. Our next match will never be our last. We're the Brooklyn Girls. We're going to live on forever because of that match, and it's something we can carry on forever, said Bailey. She further highlighted her remarkable in-ring chemistry with the boss. I don't have chemistry in the ring with anyone else like I do with her. No one teaches me like her. She's my Michael Jordan. I'll beat her at that every time. I can beat her at most games like that. But when it comes to wrestling, it's 50-50, Bailey added. The role model will compete in the upcoming Women's Royal Rumble match. She is interested in challenging Rhea Ripley for the Women's World Championship at WrestleMania 40. However, WWE could plant the seeds for a match between the 34-year-old and Io Sky for the Women's Championship. Do you think the role model will be betrayed by Damage Control? A megastar returns to WWE. WWE Royal Rumble is around the corner. And once again, fans are expecting many surprise entrants in both men's and women's marquee battle royals. Amid all the speculations, Trish Stratus also teased another return through a post on social media. The 48-year-old is widely regarded as one of the greatest female wrestlers of all time. Although she hung up her boots in 2006, the Hall of Famer has made sporadic outings to the squared circle over the years. She returned for a brief run in 2023, where she turned heel for the first time in 18 years and had an enthralling feud with Becky Lynch. Trish Stratus was last seen in action at Payback last year, where she faced the man in a steel cage match. Trish, who was aided by Zoe Stark, ended up losing the match after which the rising star turned on her. The WWE Hall of Famer recently took to social media to recap her 2023. She also subtly teased a return in the same post. Hello 2024, but first, here's a look back at last year. And if you thought 2023 was a good one, look out 2024, Trish posted. Zoe Stark joined forces with Trish Stratus and Knight of Champions, assisting the Hall of Famer in her match against Becky Lynch. However, their alliance did not last long as the rising star attacked Stratus, after the latter slapped and berated her upon losing the steel cage match. While there was no follow-up to the incident, Stark still hopes to finish the story and stand across the ring from the seven-time WWE Women's Champion. Speaking on the busted open holiday party stream, she said, I really want to finish my story with Trish Stratus in 2024. I really want to do something with her. So that would be a lot of fun to figure out where it goes. That's exactly where I want to see, so hopefully we can get that to happen. Zoe Stark has been lately teaming up with Shayna Baszler on Raw. The duo defeated Tegan Knox and Natalia on the red brand last week. Do you think Stratus will make her surprise return to the company at the 2024 Royal Rumble? CM Punk interested in joining SmackDown Faction WWE superstar CM Punk is seemingly interested in joining SmackDown Faction Damage Control. This past week, Bailey shared a picture on her Instagram handle of the faction in full strength during SmackDown. The posts showed Asuka, Io Sky, Carrie Sane, Dakota Kai, and the role model posing for the cameras. The caption indicated that the group intended to take over WWE 
WWE. The image caught the attention of popular Raw superstar CM Punk. He commented on the post, claiming he had sent in his application to join the stable but hadn't heard from them since. The comments showcased the hilarious side of the Second City Saint, who is known to share some humorous and sarcastic messages on social media. Bailey has yet to respond to the hilarious claim. Another WWE star, Grayson Waller, also shared his thoughts on the faction, writing Banger in the post's comments section. With less than a week to go for this year's Royal Rumble, CM Punk and Cody Rhodes will be in the ring simultaneously. Both stars return to the WWE after long stints in rival promotion AEW. This will be the first time since Punk's comeback that the two stars will share the ring. Both men have declared for the men's Rumble match and intend to finish their respective stories. It will be interesting to see what the former champions have to say to each other in the WWE Universe ahead of the year's first major premium live event. Royal Rumble will emanate from Tropicana Field in Street Petersburg, Florida on January 27. Who do you think will win the men's Royal Rumble match this year? CM Punk takes Seth Rollins' title. As we are on the road to WrestleMania 40, the health status of WWE superstar Seth Seth Rollins has become a major concern for many fans, especially considering the potential dream match between CM Punk and the Visionary at the grandest stage of them all. For those who are unaware, Rollins has reportedly suffered a legitimate injury in the previous edition of Raw. For this reason, the Stanford-based company has announced a segment for the upcoming episode of Monday Night Raw featuring the current World Heavyweight Champion, where he will address his future and his injury. One of the potential outcomes predicted might see the Visionary vacating his title due to injury, which would eventually lead to a World Heavyweight Championship tournament to crown a new champion. So if this unfortunate scenario unfolds, then the Elimination Chamber 2024 Premium Live event can be considered the ideal location for the finals of the said tournament, with CM Punk being the most promising superstar to win the whole contest. The belief stems from the plans for having a showdown between the best in the world and the visionary in the near future. So if CM Punk will be the one who claims the World Heavyweight Championship in the potential tournament, then upon the recovery, Rollins can directly challenge the Second City Saint for the title he never lost. Additionally, it is important to note that some sources also stated that even if the hiatus took place, Rollins is still good to perform at WrestleMania 40. This eventually means that even if Punk wins the World Heavyweight Championship at the Elimination Chamber 2024, then Seth might return before WrestleMania 40 and challenge the best in the world for the title. Now, only time will tell what the future holds for the Visionary, as he will address the same in the upcoming edition of Raw. Amid the concern about Seth Rollins' injury, the Stanford-based company has also pulled out the World Heavyweight Champion from the upcoming live events. After this, WWE has also revealed Randy Orton as the replacement for these house shows. The replacement of Seth Rollins seems to be a clear indication of the seriousness of the injury he suffered. Despite this, the Visionary is still scheduled to kick off the next episode of Monday Night Raw. Since winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Night of Champions 2023, Seth has defended his title on various occasions and secured triumphs over names like Drew McIntyre, Finn Balor. Fans will pray for nothing but the best outcome for Seth Rollins in the upcoming edition of Monday Night Raw. He wants to see Seth Rollins vs. CM Punk at WrestleMania 40? Roman Reigns vs. The Rock vs. Cody Rhodes Spoiler Wrestling veteran Matt Morgan claimed Cody Rhodes would beat The Rock and Roman Reigns in a potential triple threat match at WWE WrestleMania 40, claiming he was giving a spoiler. The American Nightmare was expected to receive a second shot at Reigns' undisputed WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania 40 after losing his first at WrestleMania 39. However, The Rock's return to tease a match against the head of the table raised doubts about Rhodes' chances of facing Reigns at the upcoming show shows. According to a recent report, a triple threat match between the three superstars is not off the table. On the latest episode of the Gigantic Pop Podcast, Matt Morgan and his co-host Glenn Rubenstein discussed the potential triple threat match. While Rubenstein claimed Rose would probably take the pin, the former superstar disagreed. He gave what he dubbed a spoiler, stating that the American Nightmare will win the fight. That seems like the worst consolation prize for Cody though because he's taking the pin in that match. If that's the match, Cody's winning it. That's the spoiler, he said. The veteran added, Cody Rhodes, who couldn't beat Roman one-on-one, -on -one, is gonna defeat and pin either The Rock or Roman. Dude, come on. It's gonna come to a very, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. If this happens, it's gonna come to a very climatic spot where again, Bloodline tries to get involved. Rock has a chance to go for the pinfall after hitting rock bottom or something. Chooses not to do it, but in seed to get rid of an audible. Being about to be started up by the Bloodline screwing Cody over or The Rock. Rock takes care of the Bloodline and Cody takes the pin. Rock gives him the nod for him to take the pin. Yeah, I do agree that's like big brother little brother Kerp, and that wouldn't be very cool but still. WWE booking Roman Reigns vs. The Rock at WrestleMania 40 would be the right call under one condition, claims veteran. Last year, Cody Rhodes entered the Men's Royal Rumble at number 30 and won the historic match. Meanwhile, the American Nightmare was the first to declare for this year's Royal Rumble match. 
Several other Raw and SmackDown superstars have also announced their participation in the Royal Rumble, including Bobby Lashley, CM Punk, Gunther, and Drew McIntyre. Wrestling veteran warned WWE and screwing over Cody Rhodes in favor of major superstar. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take 